met a gypsy. When you guys started the team for Ideal, what was the like original thinking behind it? Oh fuck! Um, Did it turn and has it turned out to like <laughs> anything like what you thought it would be? I don't honestly. I don't even think there was any thinking into it. It was like, like Team Fried was just an Instagram DM group chat. <laughs> we really? were saying like fucking dumb memes too. I think, yeah, I think Jason just named it team fried one day and it just like stuck. And then, um, <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. I think it was Hangtown right before like press day Hangtown. We were thinking of, uh, doing, I guess these videos. I, it's crazy because it's kind of a little bit of a blur where I don't remember exactly what the, the idea behind it was. It's like, yo, let's do these videos and looking back on it, on it, they're pretty I guess they're kind of funny, but they're pretty fucking weird too at the same time. And I don't know what exactly the whole process into that whole summer was. Like we were getting love from it. And the whole thing that like really made things bigger was uh, Destinations, like going to Netherlands. Yeah. And uh, that, that was like, that was big for me. Like that was the, I will say that summer, that was my like inside of my head. That was the goal. Like fucking hopefully Jason goes to designations. And once he started talking about that too, uh, about going over there and doing like a month long training with the team, I was like, bro, like they've done, um, obviously team USA videos mm. back in the day with verb and everything. And they were awesome. But I, I really want to, I want this shit to be like, dude, these people in America wake up or it's already in the afternoon and it's like, fuck, all right, what did the boys do over there today? Mm. And I tried to just keep it consistent. I forget how many videos we did, but we did a good amount. I was trying to like every day those guys were riding. Um, I'd get back the whole, <laughs> dude, this whole program was so loose too over there. We were like staying in some like vacation park rental home shit. I don't know. We got there. There was, <laughs> all right, hold on. Let me take this all back. Cause I think this is pretty worth like talking about. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we go to, we land in Amsterdam September 1st and, um, Shout out the plan Amsterdam. was to meet up with everybody to ride. Yeah, dude. Great. That place is awesome. And the plan was to go to meet up with everybody and ride i think like the september 3rd or 4th so we got there a couple days early to just chill out and just get also used to the time zone and everything and uh dude we get there we don't have fucking anything booked <laughs> so matt and i land jason's on another flight like two hours behind us i'm like fuck like i guess i just let's look up something we just booked up an airbnb literally at the airport in amsterdam for that amsterdam the stay that we were in got so such a sick pad like we were on the corner like right by the red light district on the canal like uh. honestly it was like couldn't have been better it was rad and uh then after that we had no rental car we took the train i think to eindhoven i forget actually i'm trying to think but we didn't have a rental car and then jason finally got one and fucking Jason being Jason wanted to save some bucks and we got the smallest <laughs> rental car. Dude, this thing fit like three people basically. And there was, um, there was four of us. Zach's um, practice mechanic was uh, everybody's mechanic that trip. So we, anyways, I would film those guys and come back to the vacation rental home that we were in and I would start importing all my shit. So meanwhile, it's importing, I'm waiting, waiting try to start building stuff up like I'm like as soon as it's all done start editing and about like 30 minutes in I'd always get the call from Keith at the shop 30 minutes away to come pick him up because we only had one car and I'm pretty sure I was the only one that could really like like drive stick like well ish and oh, um, or at least was I was putting myself into that position so I would go drive fucking go pick up Keith come back I'd lose an hour and then it's already like 6 7 p.m. and I'm just trying to grind this shit away try and get it up by like you know a decent time just so that I can go to sleep and do it all over again the next day um yeah it was a fucking grind and it was I will say going back to what you were saying um that feeling once it's out that feeling right there once those videos were out and waking up the next morning and reading comments of people like fucking go get them this and that that was that was rad that was yeah really I cool. mean that's one thing like i i definitely I, I think the since doing the podcast it's become like really obvious to me how important it is to add to the culture and that you can mm -hmm. have influence like you can 
care about the culture and you can want to make content that makes the culture of the sport better and then it actually does have like a positive impact and i think that's definitely yeah. there's a massive cultural impact um on um the sport because of like what you guys did with team fried and it's it's because you care about that shit like waking up in the morning and seeing the comments and seeing that people are stoked yeah. like it's a pretty selfless action you know yeah yeah and that whole trip definitely was for the culture because i feel like um dude team usa when it comes to mx donations is almost such a like prestigious thing because yeah. all those guys get to race each other so everyone knows but then it's team usa and there's this little like little click that's coming in and everyone's like oh fuck like that's those guys over there and this and that so like i i, I like growing up knowing how prestigious it was for team you like team usa going over there i want to be able to like fuck it let's showcase it like we never get mm. to really see that much stuff of them when they go over there let's fucking show what happens you know and yeah it was it was crazy i don't really know I, mxgp was pretty pumped but i know like those races you're supposed to have like certain like li like <laughs> limits on like video length and what you can post and whatnot fuck just all that posted everything <laughs> yeah and, <laughs> fuck all yeah, that. we just fucking posted everything i even uh i this shit was so big that for the race i flew out um jared conley from inner world of echo yeah to come as a b cam i, I needed a sec i was like dude this shit's gonna be so fucking big like i need to have a second camera so i was like dude i flew him out and um yeah dude i mean you, I'm sure you saw it. Like there were what yeah. 30 minute episodes of just like raw riding and shit. Just like, <laughs> shit was crazy. so fucking. I don't think dope. I can do that at Supercross, but <laughs> nah, man. I mean, again, uh, too. Like there was something just crazy about watching those guys try and figure out the sand. You know, like to to see Jason yeah. like kind of struggle. You know, like not not struggle, but. He's just not as good yeah. as the other dudes and he shouldn't no, be he doesn't no, live no. there but to see no. a, like someone that's so fucking good and then you go like even like yeah. came to wolf you know you see that little fucking shredder just yeah. ripping around there on the same day so he's like wow this shit really does hit different yeah and it was crazy because they when they got there um their bikes weren't shipped weren't they were stuck at customs or some shit so they first started riding i don't even know fuck i mean fuck it who gives a shit they were riding uh like the gp bikes over there that were like kind of different like pretty yeah. different there's fucking different buttons on that shit and stuff like <laughs> like dude this bike looks crazy and uh yeah they were riding it and getting used to it like they said this was tough and it looked fucking tough like that shit bro we have southwick here <laughs> southwick is yes it's sandy it's gnarly but it's just a lot, it's very bumpy and fast. And over there, it's fucking deep. And you're just like mowing yeah, that shit. Yeah, yeah. And uh, dude, and, and just being able to be around that the whole month, um, it was kind of crazy because I'd say about two and a half weeks into Jason and Zach training, because they got there a little earlier, those guys were miserable. They were so over it. Like they were really? so tired and just over it. They're just fuck this. If you enjoyed this content, please like and subscribe. And to listen to the full three-hour podcast, search Gypsy Tales in your favorite podcast platform or click the link in the description below. Gypsy Gang.